Alola everyone and welcome to the channel. My name is Philly Beats you and in this video I'm gonna be showing you guys an awesome cool fun trick that you can use using the move Weather Ball in Pokemon Sun and Moon. Now, of course, you're going to be equipping this with a Z Crystal, the Normalian Z, and then using Weather Ball, and we're going to see exactly what happens when you do it. We got our Pokemon that we're going to use for this experiment. We got our two Cast Forms. One Cast Form is going to be used for causing the weather effects, and our second Cast Form is going to be using the move Weather Ball. So we're going to be doing this live so you guys can see it. So without further ado, let's get right into this to see what is going down. Let's go in this grass and get to work. Here we go. All right, so there is our Wingle that first shows up. So I think what we're first going to do is we're going to make it hail. We're going to want to make it hail. We're going to test out the hail weather effect first. And then we're going to use our weather ball afterwards. And of course, cast from is then going to change. Wingo's going to do absolutely nothing to it. And now we're going to switch out our Pokemon right over here. We're going to go into our second cast form. And the second cast form has our move. And of course, cast form is going to change with the forecast. And of course, if you guys want to get a cast form, you can get it in the lush jungle in the game. Alright, so here we go. Now time to show you guys what is going down. Now, like I mentioned before, it does have a Normalian Z crystal equipped to it. So I'm going to hit the Z power, right? And then we're going to go into Breakneck Blitz, which is using the Weather Ball move. And we're going to see exactly what happens. Oh, that's not that's not a Break, 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 Neck Blitz move. Check it out. Look what it's doing. Cast from Alicia. It's full 4 Z move, but Breakneck Blitz turn 2. Sub-Zero Slammer. So it's turned into an ice move because of the weather. This is a really cool thing to do. So there we go. Ice-type Z move based off Weather Ball. Boom. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. We have... We're going to take a look at the other ones too. While we're at this. Here we go. It's rolling in the grass. And of course, there's only... A few weather types. We got hail, we got we got the sandstorm, we got the sunny day, and we got rain. So those are the four types that we're going to be playing with as well uh, when we're doing this. So here we go. Castro's going to go again. This time we're going to do the rain dance. Now also, be aware, it's not this This doesn't only apply to cast form. I'm going to show you guys later on the other Pokemon that can learn this beautiful weather move. The weather ball. There you go. Cast form, transform into the rain. It's rain version. Alright, now we're going to switch out our cast forms again. And show you guys another weather ball. Using the break, bla break, break neck blitz move. Or the Z move. So here we go. We got our Normalian Z equipped. Forecast enables again. Rats head, I ain't gonna do nothing to us. We're gonna Z power up and we're gonna use our breakneck blitz utilizing the weather ball move. So here we go. This time we get the water Z move, guys. It's pretty cool. There we go. Hydro Vortex. Just because of the weather. Boom! Get wrecked, Rattata. Oh man, this is awesome stuff, man. Which means you don't have to have every single Z move equipped in order to perform that Z move. So these are some cool options that you can do in the game. Meaning I don't have to have my water crystal equipped just to get it. I don't have to have my ice crystal Z crystal equipped just to get that ice Z move. So it's it's cool that there's ways of working around with these Z moves in this game when you don't have to equip the exact type Z move. All right, here we go. This time we're going to make it Sandstorm. Now, this is this is a pretty good example for you guys here because Cast Form doesn't have a sand type of change, uh, you know, form that it changes into. 
So we don't have to worry about that. So now you guys are going to see that you don't necessarily have to even be the same type Pokemon to be using that move. Here we go. We got our second cast form out here. And let's see what goes down, fam. Time to use our Z Crystal. Rattata's calling for help. Please, Rattata, stop it. We're not trying to SOS chain here. All right, so we're going to fight, and we're going to do the Z move again here. And check this out, guys. Check this out. This is just proof that you don't need to only use Cast Form. Oh, yeah. Look at that. That is so cool, man. That is so cool. Now it's going to use Continental Crush. And that's without transforming. Rip. Oh, man. How many ways can you kill Rattata? It's a Rattata fan. So there you guys have it with the what, what Sand Storm does. You get to use the ground, the, the rock type Z move as well. So there you guys go with that. And then we're going to go in the grass one more time. Let me show you the final one. And we got a slow poke this time. We'll set our cast form again. And this time we're going to be using the fire weather effect sunny day. Of course, cast form is going to change with this one. But like I mentioned before, the Pokemon does not have to change forms or change its type in order to perform the Weather Ball Z-Move effect, which is really nice. And there's a lot of stuff you can throw out there that people would not be expecting. So here we go. We're going to go and do our Z-Move, our final Z-Move for this. Oop. Final Z-Move for this. Uh... Oh, we have to switch our cast form. Whoopsie daisy. So there, we're going to switch our cast form. I got confused for a second. I thought my theory broke. Thought it wasn't going to work. But here we go. Here's our next cast form coming out. It transformed. Slowpoke's going to use Tackle. But it's not going to affect our level 71 cast form at all. Z power this up. And here we go, guys. Use the Breakneck, breakneck Blitz. And it's going to transform its type. Look at that. Here we go, Inferno Overdrive! Oh my gosh. Rip Slowpoke, man. Rest in peace. Rest in peace. So there you guys, you guys pretty much have it. Those are the examples of weather effects and how that works with Z-Moves. And if you guys, for the final test, we're just gonna, I'll show you. Just wanna do it without any any um, other weather effects. Don't wanna do it with any sand streams. Don't wanna do it with hails. Don't wanna do it with rain days. Don't wanna do it with sunny days. You're gonna get a normal effect. It's not gonna be anything different. This is the last one I'll show you guys. Uh, let me just switch out the cast forms here into our next cast form. Remember, Normalian Z, guys. That's what you gotta have. It's gonna use its water gun on us. And here we go. Breakneck Blitz coming up again. And this is going to be the exact same type. It's not going to change anything. No weather change. Right? So weather changes do affect it. So if we have a rainy, rainy terrain going on, you're going to get that water move. The Hydro Vortex. But here we go. That's pretty funny looking at Cast Form do this. And there you go. That's the regular effect for it. So, Weather Ball, Weather Ball can do quite a lot, and you can do a lot of strats in the game with it. Now, at the same time, I want you guys to take a look at this stuff. We open up Serebii, just to give you guys a look at the Weather Ball. Like we said, its base power is uh, 50, its accuracy is 100 effect. The battle effect is that this attack move varies in power and type according to or depending on the weather type. Now here's some Pokemon that can learn Weather Ball leveling up. So you got Lugia, we got Ho-Ho, 
Uh, in the game in Pokemon Sun and Moon, you can obviously get a cast form, you can get a Roserade through the island scan, get a Venelux through it, a uh, Volcanion as well can learn it, but you can't get Volcanion in the game, that's going to be happening after Pokebank happens. And here are some other Pokemon that you can get in the game. Bellsprout, Weeping Bell, Victory Bell, Snowrunt, Galil. You cannot get Cherubi and Cherum in the game. You have to get that through the transfer as well. You can get Driftbloon, Driftblind, Frostlass, Fomentis, and Lorantis. Now, guys, I want you guys to think about this very carefully. All right? If you get Sunny Day on a Lorantis and you have Weather Ball, your Lorantis can perform a fire type Z move. And Lorantis is not able to actually do that. Because if we take a look at Lorantis and we go down to its usable Z moves, we don't see any fire types here. So with Weather Ball, we can actually go above and beyond its capabilities for a Pokemon by using maybe a fire type Z move on certain Pokemon or using a water type Z move. So that's something they want to keep in mind as well. You can apply to a lot of these Pokemon as well. Use a Galil and you can also use a fire Z move, which is really awesome. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you enjoyed this, smash that like button. I hope you guys subscribe, and I'm going to bring you guys more awesome content like this. Spread the word. Share what happens. Try this gimmick with your friends. It's going to be a fun time. My name is Philly Beats You, and I'll be seeing you guys in the next video. I'm out.